Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been a wee while but uh, we have been rather busy on farm so we'll get straight to it. So today we are, sorry about the croaky voice, I've got kids and they've all got a bit of the, bit of the bug going around. Um, today we are off to the hell of a protest. Um, might be wondering what that is, it's been all over social media in New Zealand. Um, so, if you uh, didn't know, currently in this country we have a, a left-wing government. Now, uh, not trying to pick sides here. The right-wing side of it do this too, but these guys have really gone crazy this time. And uh, they want to regulate everything we do as farmers, especially us down the bottom of the South Island. Um, we've got some... We have long, hard winters, and they want to basically regulate us out of farming through those winters. So, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to hit the streets. Now, we don't want to piss the public off, we don't want to blog up towns all the time, we don't want to be violent, we don't want to be rough. This is just a demonstration to show the government that we are not happy and we will not take this. Um, I don't know whether we're going to achieve anything, hopefully we do. Uh, we don't try, we don't know, do we? Anyway, I'm going to get a bit of footage throughout the day, uh, might even talk to a few people, we'll see how we go, and uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. Now, how's this for bloody selfish, eh? John Deere. I'm going to have to slow down for him because he's only doing 40 bloody Ks. Not good enough. Not good enough at all. You know what? I'm going to have to take that back. What a good bugger. Pulled over and let me go. Is that good fun, Elliot? Yeah. And they're back again. And we are away. There goes the neighbor's blue team heading out. I thought there was three of them, but they got two there anyway. The instructor must know I've got a YouTube channel. He stopped me <laughs> right at the front to watch everyone go past. Look at them all. Land cruisers, rangers, tritons, hiluxes. They're yuck hiluxes. Look at all the land cruisers though. Awesome stuff. Um, in case you're wondering, yeah, so our government has put a tax on a lot of vehicles. Um, they're basically saying that if your vehicle uses more than a certain amount of fuel, you're going to get taxed on it. And if your vehicle uses less than a certain amount of fuel, or is electric, or whatever, then uh, you're going to get money. They're going to give you money to buy these things. But the problem is, there's no four-wheel drive utes that come un into that category. So, so yeah, that's why the utes are all here. Um, that's just another bit of this protest. It's sort of trying to make it not just farmers. It's, it's everyone that this government is affecting. Sorry, I'm keeping watching the guy organising it to see where I'm supposed to go. Look at the bloody trucks down there, would you? We're moving, we're away. Some horses there coming back down the road. So that over there, by the looks of it, Johnny might be the first one up. Not sure. This is bloody amazing, guys. We didn't expect anywhere near this turnout. Oh, unbelievable. Um, the organizers sounded absolutely just overwhelmed on stage, which is awesome. Um, looks like the crowd is pretty good too. People everywhere. Hell of a show of support, guys, eh? Really goes to show this government's got it all wrong. Yeah, 
is the first of the traitors. Bloody unreal. Still coming back down the other side. Trying not to hold the town up too much. Look at everybody. Crikey. Just keeps bloody going. Red stains have got a bit much air in the back. I had a big trailer on the other day, so it's a bit bumpy. Yeah, big HD. A big 8000 series Johnny behind that. 8000 series New Holland behind that. Look at that old girl. Oh, another old ripper behind it. The old Magnum. Big Fent. What's on that one? 9.30. Yep. 2.40 Puma. And here's more of them. Oh, this tractor is too wide for these trees. We'll go too far one way, I'm hitting cows with a bar axle, and too far the other way, I'm hitting the trees. Uh, there's one of the beet harvesting tractors. Woohoo, what a lineup, eh? Just never ending. There's old Sam. Mate from down the road. Oh no, he might have someone else driving it. Good one, over ploughing three red tape. We could run with that. And that's the end of it. And so there we are, back in the shed. Made it home nice and safely. So yeah, go over a few more points. Um, our government seemed to want to impose tighter restrictions on our operations, than, but they forget one thing about the New Zealand farmer. And that is that, in no way, shape or form at all, are we subsidised. We receive no government assistance, and that has made us very efficient. Now, uh, one thing that tends to go hand in hand with efficiency is reducing wastage. Reducing wastage tends to mean better environmental outcomes. Um, I'm not saying we are the best in the world environmentally, but we're certainly right up there. And this government seems to be painting a picture that we are absolute villains, and we just... We've had a guts full of it, so uh, this is what it's come to. Instead of focusing on the outcomes, um, water quality, soil management, as in sustainable soil management, uh, animal welfare, which to be fair, the vast majority of us are way up there. Um, there's not very many that aren't, and they have their own individual challenges, so I won't come out and criticise them. I am not in their situation. But, uh, yeah, they're focusing on telling us what we can do, telling us how steep we can graze our animals, telling us, uh, to be fair, how close to a waterway we can graze them on crops. Yep, not many people have got an issue with that. Telling us how deep our animals are allowed to uh, penetrate the soil. So we're quite wet down here. Uh, we get a lot of rain in winter. We don't get a lot of rain. We are quite wet. We, our soils hold moisture and we don't dry out very well. Um, great in the summertime. They're trying to tell us that our animals are, long, are not allowed to put their feet into the soil any further than five centimetres. Well, <laughs> that ain't going to work. They're trying to tell us that our, say our paddocks have to be resown in grass by a certain date. Now, that one is a big sticky point. Um, often, I can achieve that. Not always. 
because I'm only single cropping, we want a faster rotation for young grass. Now that's quite an expensive process. Um, guys that are double cropping, they tend to have to wait a bit longer for their soils to dry out. So the government are encouraging farmers to cultivate wet, sticky soil and put seed in the ground. Now, that seed, most of it's not going to live. Probably seven times out of ten. But they're putting a rule in. Now, they've told us that a lot of this stuff is going to be waived, depending on the outcomes of this winter. But we've had the activists out there working very hard to make sure that they are not removed. And uh, we're a little bit concerned because our Minister for the Environment, I won't touch on Damien O'Connor, our Minister for uh, Agriculture. I think he's got our best interest at heart, but I don't think he's got enough pull within the Labour Party to achieve a rule. Uh, David Parker, on the other hand, Minister for the Environment, <sighs> that man's a worry. So he's come out and said today, before these protests even went ahead, he will not be budging on any of this regulation because of a protest. Well, if you're not going to listen to the people, you've got no place being in Parliament. You shouldn't bloody be there. So. Uh, if that's the way he's going to carry on, I think it's time he left. But but those are the issues that New Zealand farmers are facing right now. Another sticking point is uh, SNAs, or significant natural areas. Now, this is probably the closest thing on our farm that would come to one, and uh, I don't think it would. It wouldn't worry me if it did. Uh, we only fenced it off a couple of years ago. Just, I mean, as you can hear, my boots, it's wet. It's very wet all right, um, and it's natural in the sense that we didn't make it. But uh, yeah, some serious sticking points around that. So there's a lot of speculation with these uh, significant natural areas. No one really knows what the government wanted to do with them, and that is our concern. Um, I've heard rumours that if they deem this, which they probably won't deem this one a SNA, but if they did, then... Uh, Everything, where are we? Everything up there, we can do very little with. We can graze it in a manner that suits them. We can't fertilise it, we can't cultivate it, we can't crop it, we can't rotationally graze it. Uh, lots of things. Now this is not, this is hearsay, this is not uh, confirmed, but uh, yeah, we're worried. We're definitely worried at these CNAs. And then of course the last one is climate change. Now, I'm not a denier. Do I believe fossil fuels are causing issues, most likely, do I believe biogenic methane as they call it, or methane from ruminants is calling, causing issues? Definitely not from a pasture based system, absolutely not. There is plenty of science out there that backs this up, but our government seem hell bent on finding some way to send us a bill for it, so that's another real sticking point. A lot of science out there in our favour, but they're still sticking with old, tired, uh, what they call GWP measurements, um, that just, yeah, they don't seem to want to budge. I think their justification is that it's going to cost too much to change the system. I think the real justification is that if they change to the more modern measures, then they're going to lose their funding model, which doesn't really sit very well with them. Now, I really didn't want to get political on this channel, but it's sort of come to that point. I'm not picking sides. I don't think left or right is any better at this, but uh, we just want to be listened to. Just want to touch a little bit on the uh, on the groundswell movement. The associated, well, what are they? They're a group, I guess. Um, I'm in no way, shape, or form involved with any of the organising or anything like that. I'm just a supporter, avid supporter. I was wary when they did the first one back in October. I thought we'll see how this goes. If it goes well, then I will support them, and that's exactly what's happened. Um, there's a lot of speculation out there that they're involved with certain other fringe groups, and uh, that's absolutely in no way, shape, or form true. There's only one other group that they're involved with, and that is the Rural Advocacy Network in Canterbury. Another great group, looking out for farmers' mental health and just keeping an eye on things and making sure farmers are being listened to. None of this real extreme stuff, but uh, yeah, it's a great thing they've done. They've organised these these protests all over the country. My neighbour organised the Invercargill one. Uh, I just went to Gore because it's quite a bit closer for us. So yeah, absolutely behind them. Uh, it'd be great to see more people get behind them be great to be listened to but we will see what happens there i i don't have a lot of faith in our, our minister for the environment listing so i guess in future there'll be more action so anyway guys as i stand here with a whole lot of very well-fed stock in the background uh the very thing the government are trying to stop us doing 
I'll bid you farewell and say uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.